Hello everyone and welcome to SC Geek, the internet's most passionate software engineering show. I am your host, the Software Engineering Geek, and on this show we're going to show you how to find out who's to blame for a Git commit. So sit back and let the knowledge flow in, because SC Geek begins now. Okay, this time we're going to be talking about playing the blame game. So, obviously, you know, you do some changes in version control, you know, you get things working, and then, you know, you try it again, and, you know, after a pull and a merge, and something broke, and you don't know why, or, you know, something's broken, you don't know why, and you want to know who did this. You know, you see something wrong in the code. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go back into our Git uh, Grails core, and let's just uh, let's see here. Let's find a good file to look at. Let's go into uh, let's see Grail. Let's find something. See if we can find something a little interesting to look at. Um, just have to find a file here eventually. Okay, so we have a file here. And say we want to see just, you know, per line, what actually, who who did what line? Who's responsible? We can do a get blame dash F for follow history. Actually, let me just take a quick look. Yeah. And we're on the master branch. We're going to do grails webutil.java hit enter and now we get basically the whole entire file so you can kind of see the file over here uh, I'll zoom out in a little bit just so you can see more of it but we get to see the commit it came on uh, what you know file it actually came from so most of these came from this file but some of them came from someplace else uh, who did it and when? So now we can let's uh, just zoom out a little bit. So might be a little hard to see, but so I'll just go slowly. So you know you can see like when you know all of the current lines got added. You know, this is actually looking just at master. You know, you could probably do, you could do this, you know, do, you know, something much more complicated, obviously. Um, we'll exit out of that. But what's even better is if you do, I think it's get GUI blame and then the file name. We get a nice graphical res representation, kind of like get GUI. Some, uh, oops. come on, same UI. And if you hover over, it tells you what commit and who did it, and it'll actually link back to you know the source commits of these files. So you can go in here, say like this particular line. This is you know the problem line right here. You know, we can see the author, the original file it was committed to, the original commits, you know, pretty much everything. And say we want to go back to that commit, we go back to that commit. Now we can look at that commit in its entirety. We can go, you know, working directory. So that gets us back to where we were. And that's pretty much it for get blame uh, you can also actually uh, if you want to be a little more fancy with it you can do 
dash L and do say between lines 10 and 12. I think that's the syntax. And that'll just give us lines 10, 11, and 12. So we can see just those lines, where they came from, who did them, and when, and what file they came from. So that can be very useful in just tracking down like who did what when. And uh, actually, it's also very good for like if you're merging something and you want to figure out who did this originally, you know, why they did it. And, you know, because they would be the best ones to be able to help you merge it if you had a major conflict or if you wanted to actually track down, you know, how this you know file evolved. You know, you get a better sense of, you know, who changed what and when. That's what Get Blame allows you to do. So that's pretty much it for Get Blame. See you next time.